This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and part 29 of Solo Joe. After we finally transferred everything over to the new computer, we've got the save file fixed, th thanks to uh, Dana Harrington, and uh, yeah, fun times, fun times. So hopefully we'll be able to actually do Psycho Block now, and start... Okay, and he showed me, and he fixed my save file, and showed me all that stuff and everything. So yeah, let's see what happens when we talk to this thing. Now, now that we have all the clues, the path to Psycho Block is easy to find. And um, there should probably be a comma there, not a period. Unless they did. Now we have all the clues. The path to Psycho Block is easy to find, but. Uh, that sentence leads into the next sentence, so there really should be a comma there. Actually, now that we have all the clues, the path to Psycho Block is easy to find. There should be a comma there, and then maybe period, Dad has to be there. I don't know, it just seems off a little bit. <sighs> okay, but yay. Okay, okay. And there's not a whole lot. What is Psycho Block like? Dot, dot, dot. Have you found Dad? So what, they're not even gonna come with me to Psycho Block? Okay. I love that guidebook, the guy climbing at a 45 degree reverse incline there. Big ol' overhang. That Maybe that's just to give you an idea of what that's gonna be like. Huh, and there's five air... Wait, there's a whole area for the Flying Nut Muncher? Oh, goodness. That, uh... That sounds... insane. We. What the... Okay, so how does this work? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the Flying Nut Muncher. This was Joe's big project. Little is no, little is known about this exotic route, though it is rumored there is secret beta essential to unlocking the trickery of the technical move. <sighs> trickery of the technical moves, technical moves. <sighs> okay, let's not worry about that yet, though. Let's see what easier routes there are. Let's see what the easiest route on Psycho Block is. We have Akuban, that's 7C+. Plus. See if we have any others that are no, that's the only one that's like a 7C plus, actually, it seems like. So to Zona Morta we go. Huh. So that's how you get from one platform to another. Kinda weird. It doesn't even have, like, a swimming animation. You just kind of jump off, and then you just appear on the other platform. But you know what that means. We don't have to worry about dying from soloing anymore. Yeah. And that's probably the sweetest thing about this. <laughs> okay, so I guess I need to read the guidebook. Start as for a or alacrity. Ah, uh, man, I'm getting a dictionary or something. But Dino right before the chimney. Move to the right, Arite, and another Dino. Powerful moves guard the finish. Okay, so I have to go to that first, wherever it is. Another branching route, I guess. Nope. Uh, where is it? 
I think it's over here, actually. The accuracy of my alacrity. Okay. Ooh, okay. So for the one I go up the chimney and for the other I don't, huh? There's not even any shuts here because everything is soloing. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, what's the accuracy of my alacrity? Climb the chimney on the far left pillar. Once you escape tight quarters, move around a short roof to the upper crux and the finish. I guess we need to do that route first. I suppose. Alright, let's -a go. At least we have some new routes. New area, all that fun stuff. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Ah, okay. I figured there was a no no hands rest there somewhere. Alrighty. And I suppose we don't exactly have to worry about finding places to put protection anymore either. <laughs> because yeah, there's like no protection on any of these routes. It's like it's a good thing it's over the water. No one would be able to ever climb these routes. No one would dare try. Oh boy. Damn. Ugh. C. I didn't hit C. Uh, sploosh. <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about dying. That's... That's a relief. It really is. The only, uh... Frustration is going to come soloing those last open projects. Like those open projects everywhere besides here. That's, uh... That's going to be fun. That'll be the only thing that'll still be able to kill me. Okay. Dang. Could have on-sided that, but... Darn. <laughs> Good thing our skills are so high, I guess. Okay. Ugh. I think that was the final crux, so... Second try, we did it. Mm. Not quite on site, but close. And it sent us to this platform for some reason. I don't want on this platform. Okay, so we've done the accuracy, accuracy of my alacrity. Still have no clue what that means. Akumin. Sounds like a Pokemon. Go, Akumin! <laughs> uh, I know, silliness. Think, go like this? Uh, hell. Damn it all. That's what I thought, anyway. The heck? Did I miss? Oh, that is where I'm supposed to go. I just didn't quite align properly. 
Hmm. Ugh. Seems to run a slight bit smoother on this new computer. And my computer runs a lot quieter. Oh, shit. Which way do I go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I screwed up that dino. Dang it. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Complete bollocks. As much as I don't know a lot of British slang, I do like that one. It's so fun to say. Bollocks. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> you fuck. I did the same thing twice in a row. Feel retarded. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I have the super dino. I mean, come on. That's not even a very far dino. I just need to, like, do my power in the middle or something and just get it over with. Dang it. <laughs> there we go. That was, that was a lot less painful. Need grip. Good thing I have like a hundred something physical. Yeah. Do 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 do. Okay. Ironically, the easier route took us more tries. Oy. Okay. So we've done two routes on Psycho Block. All of these are relatively nice difficulties, right? 8A, 8C, 8A. I'm guessing those are things we can do. I like to watch you drive. From the middle platform, climb the left route. A chimney leads to the left corner. Catch the rest on the face before you tackle the upper crux. See, I like to watch you drive. Alright. Okay, I don't know what's up with this part here. I haven't a clue. Okay. Oof. Okay, we're good. Now we go off to this, to the side of the cliff here. Ooh. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, geez, that's slippery. Okay, I guess I don't go over that way, huh? Oh boy. Damn. <laughs> no. Dang it. I hit X instead of C on accident. Well, like I said, though, thankfully, we can't die here. Yay. <laughs> Go us. It really does feel nice. It's a little less frustrating when uh, you realize you can't die. Although it is kind of frustrating that I'm missing on such relatively easy things considering some of the technical cruxes I've been through makes me wonder what the heck the flying nut muncher is like we might have to take a look at it before we end this let's play part that might be like the 
you know, the K2 of this game. Big old tall mountain that a lot of people die trying to climb. It's got to be it's got to be the the boss of this game pretty much. At least that's what I assume. Ugh. Okay, yes. Whoa! <laughs> that's one way to get it down. <laughs> you can just leap the hell off the cliff. <laughs> I guess it makes sense because you can't die from doing it, but I just didn't expect the game to let you be able to do that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> no. Uh. Wow. That, that is, that is spectacular. I'm just gonna have to end every route in here with leaping off the cliff into the water. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> you just go, wee. New wrinkle for you brain. This says for your brain. The guidebook says for you brain. What? Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Okay, I just now discovered this feature. You can hit up and down to go through the different guidebooks. I really wish I'd known that before when I was looking for new routes to climb. That's... That would have been something that's useful to know. I accidentally hit up and it switched guidebooks or hit down or up or I don't know which one I accidentally hit. I think it was down because I went to the sport crag. But apparently you can do that. That's useful. Zona Morta, a new wrinkle for you brain. Okay, easy cl ch climbing leads to a throw and a challenging, and a challenging moves. Dana Harrington, if you need a proofreader, I'd be more than happy to volunteer. First climbed barefoot by Danger Dan Lucas. He was deceived by the easy intro as he was deceived by the easy intro moves. This route, ow. Ow, those were my knuckles. Mm. This route has two variation top outs. Huh. Let's see here. So you can go like two different ways on this one. Um, eh, let's check this thing out, I guess. Okay, get over there. I assume you got a dino or something. Damn. Spoosh. Damn it. Okay, um... I guess I don't exactly know where I'm going. That doesn't help. 
And that seems to lead nowhere. Whoops. Grr. Feel stupid. Oop, shit. Okay, apparently that way doesn't lead much of anywhere. Hmm. Here it seems like we have to... Okay, seems like we have to go up here and jump up and to the left. <laughs> uh, or not. The heck. Okay, wait, so what do we do then? Or am I supposed to just go like that? I'm being in Once again, I'm being incredibly stupid, aren't I? Okay, so this seems to go that way and over this way. I think. I'm not entirely certain on that, actually. So can I go over this way? Yes, I can. All right, then we'll see what's over this way then. I did say there was two different variation top outs, so... Whoa! Jeez. Damn. Out of energy. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's try over this way again then. And you know, actually climb it properly. <laughs> Just being this stupid doofus. Yeah, see, we we're just supposed to go that way. That was easy. <laughs> Dewey. It's always after moments like that that I feel incredibly stupid when I'm playing a game. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Whoop whoop. Wee. Bloosh. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, now I'm curious about the other variation top out, though. This one, apparently, you could just go this way and do it. But, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna say, judging by the two, though, the left variation seems to be easier. If just for the fact that this one has a really, really draining balance crux in it. Hmm. Dang, I can't seem to do this one. Huh. Man. Apparently, the this variation is really difficult. 
I'll have to come back to this one sometime, I guess. Jeez. Yeah, well. We'll come back to that one later, I guess. My signature move. No, oh, this is Zona Morta. Apparently, they're the same start point. This powerful route climbs from the uh, from the right platform. Move up and left to a dino, then up to a Hueco to shake out for the final crux. Signature move. Start is for Zona Morta, but move right and follow the vertical line. Catch a rest after the crux, then move up to an all points off finish. Okay then. Eh. Guess I have to be way off to the right. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, okay. We're good. This place seems to have a thing for combination cruxes, though. Something to keep in mind, I suppose. Damn. Damn, this route's really picky about where you hold. Oh, good heavens. Really should have scouted this for. Oh no, I ran out of energy. Dang it. No. Dang it. Okay, let's try that again. Dang, I made the crux, but then I ran out of energy and just fell anyway. That was kind of irritating. Damn. Okay, then. <sighs> At least these are more forgiving than, you know, normal technical cruxes, so I guess I could be thankful for that at least. Okay, let's go up this way. See if it's any easier. A lot of these later routes seem to have more than one way to finish them, too. Ugh. Whew. I can't believe that worked. Okay. So there's two ways to get there. Just like that other route. Huh. Wee. Okay, I went completely off screen so we can't even see it. Sploosh. Radical. Zona Morta is the only one we have left on, well, Zona Morta. The powerful route cramps up from the right platform. Move up and left to a dino. Then to... Okay, yeah. Let me see here. So, we just go straight up there. Or, oh, it looks like there's two ways to do this one, too. Oh, boy. Or maybe not. Maybe so? Maybe not. <laughs> so one way just seems to be a dead end. Assuming you can go that way at all. So straight up. That's why you scout the route first, I guess. And then go up here. Da -da -da, and then it tops out, I assume. The rest, I assuming, is down here. Okay. Now we know, and knowing is oh so much of the battle, and solo Joe. 
It's a real American hero. You want to know why? Because it's an inspiration to people. He doesn't have to kill people. Or shoot at everything, make it explode and not really kill anyone. That's really what G.I. Joe did mostly, but... Whatever. But no. Again, Spire... Actually, I don't even know if Solo Joe is American. He's the everyman's hero. That's... I won't put it that way. I just said American because it was, you know, G.I. Joe, so I thought... Yeah. I don't know. Woo! I think we onsided that one. Heck yes. Heck yes! Still counting my points. Oh, you can see the points move. Can you do that? Huh. Whoa, it's... Wow. High score and... Zona Morta. On-site solo. Okay, where next? Dimension Vertical seems to have all eight, so let's go there. Dimension Vertical. Okay, route finding is a bit exotic, and don't get suckered into the face climbing after the rest. What? What's it talking about here? Route finding's a bit exotic indeed. Where do I jump here? Frick. <laughs> oh, Lord. So does that mean we have to go off to the side there and do it? Uh, oh, Lord. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dang. Okay. Oh, shit. Shit. What's going on? Fuck. <sighs> oh. Bit exotic indeed. Is that a rest? Kind of hard to tell on that one. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, frick. Hmm. Whew. Oh, boy. These, these routes, man. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Not actually supposed to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I even supposed to do that? Oh my gosh. Oh 
Okay, where am I supposed to go? Or am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Frick. What the heck? Where do I go? Oh, that's a whole different route altogether. Oh, this is like the wall of confusing routes. Good lord. Ugh. The wall of, oh my goodness, where the frick do I go? Because, yeah, that's not the challenge. I haven't run into any really challenging cruxes, so... Apparently the challenge is, where the frick do I go? Ugh. Yay, yay. Damn. Okay, let's try jumping straight up. Ta frick. Duh. No. Start me closer to the route, gosh darn it. Hmm. This route's tricky. Tricky little bastard. And I feel just fine saying bastard because there's a route called Arrogant Bastard, so. However, I probably shouldn't keep saying fuck during this let's play because there's. The route's called the Flying Nut Much, or not laughing. Not, you know, flying fucking numb nuts or something. Hey, uh, no. Okay. Duh. Okay, where do I go then? Let's try over. Duh. Damn, no. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I still don't have another attribute point. Takes a lot to get an attribute point, but thankfully, you know, um, can't die on this place, so don't have to worry about duh, losing those experience points, so that's very, very good. Okay. Okay, and Dino all the way to the left here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That was good. Oh no. Alright, I didn't jump off. Oh well. Oh geez, what does it send me clear over here for? Unknown problem. <laughs> what? Unknown problem. That's. Interesting. I... Is that the flying nut muncher? No, I don't think so. Let's try that other route, though. Nevita. Start as for dimensional and verticale, but down climb before the roof and dino right to the next block. 
Catcher has sent Embark on some challenging moves and unique route finding. Oh, joy. So yeah, we jump there like we did. And then, uh... And then freak if I know. Soon we go up this way. But then I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> Fun. Admittedly, it is satisfying once you figure out what in the world to do, but what the frick? Yes. Okay, do 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 down here. Then we hurl ourselves this way. Good lord. Seems like everywhere we go we're losing our grip here. Frick! Okay. If the world was like Demolition Man and I got fined for every time I swore, I would be broke. Ah, frick! I was trying to adjust myself, and the technical started. And of course there's a technical. Darn it! Don't want a technical. <laughs> Darn you technicals. Hmm. At least we finally are at Psycho Block, though. I'm happy to be at Psycho Block because we should have been here several parts ago when I found the last clue, but the game didn't count it. I'm just glad someone's around to help. Could you imagine if it wasn't? If the if Dana wasn't around to help, can you imagine if this was like an old abandoned game and I ran into that and I had no clue what in the holy hell I was supposed to be doing? This game would probably remain unfinished. I mean, it's like if this was some Macintosh abandonware thing or something. Then we'd be hosed. <sighs> Frick. Mm. Technicals. Okay. At least we're getting a lot done, I guess. Which is good. Very good. Yes, that's good. Well, that's very good indeed. Oh. Uh, nice. A nice touch. Very good. Catch that hedgehog this time. <laughs> that really was a fun show. The original Sonic the Hedgehog TV show. Sonic Sat AM, as I think it was called, just to avoid confusion with the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, as if, you know, you couldn't tell the difference between one and the other just by seeing it. Trust me, you'd be able to tell the difference. One's good, the other is a confusing piece of crap. By confusing, I mean, like, mind-rapingly weird and confusing. Oh, well, that was easy. Now, which way do I go? Frick, not that way, I guess. Damn, damn. Hate this route. Keep trying to slip off here. Mm. Damn. Yes, we did it. Whoa! <laughs> Apparently, you can jump off that way, too. Okay. Whew. Unless those two routes done. Hmm. 
Devil Dare, a difficult route to cipher. You'll have to suffer many challenges and take advantage of more than one good rest to manage the ascent. Wasn't Double Dare like a Nickelodeon game show? Wasn't that Double Dare? I don't... I don't remember. I didn't grow up in that era of television, for better or worse. I guess we have to go left. Dude. Thank goodness. Oh boy. God. These routes are really, really picky. Ah, oh, frick. Can I dino it? Yeah. <laughs> no. Damn. Damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Bacon, sausage, and damn. Damn, 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 eggs, and damn. Okay, wait. So it goes over this way anyways. Frick. No, wait. No, that was where I got stuck, but what the fuck? Good gravy. Oh, my lord. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Ah, dick. My god. Difficult route to cipher indeed. Frick. Yeah. Because every part of this route is like, where the frick am I supposed to... Whoa, what the... When's the last time... See, th wow. Those things hardly ever, ever go off in that direction. When they do, it really throws you off. Frick. Okay. What the hell? The hell? Damn it all. Route's really fucking confusing. Okay, so we go right around there. It seemed like this was the correct path, but then I probably have to dino that, huh? Grrr. Oh, Lord. Ciphering the routes indeed. This is starting to feel more like Maniac Sports, where I have no clue where the heck I'm supposed to be going up the cliff face. Frick! No! Oh. God damn it! The fuck! Now I'm almost out of energy because I just kept slipping and slipping and slipping and slipping for no apparent damn fucking ah fuck! <sighs> Lord! This is the game of someone who has a lot of patience. And yet I'm still playing it, go figure. I am not one known for huge amounts of patience. At least not for, not for trial and error like this. But heck, if the Maniac Sports game was like this, I wouldn't have minded that at all. This is a... this is a... Damn it all. Okay, I guess I have to go left. It's like memorizing one of those random mazes. Right, left, left, right, left. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, fuck this shit. We. Oh, God. Frick. Sometimes it's really hard to tell if you're aligned on something properly. Good lord. Damn. 
Good one. Damn it all. What the fuck? Where do I go? God damn it. Yeah, here's another one. A Royal Harding. Start rate of Double Dare and climb the face. The lower moves aren't particularly challenging, but knowing where to go is... Oh, look at this description. Damn near impossible. <laughs> when the game is describing a route like that, good fucking luck. Uh, and this route's enough like that as it is. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Good lord. Ah, fuck. Okay, so let's go this way instead. And to top it off, pretty much all the routes have a crux of some kind, just to confuse you even farther. Like, oh, there's a crux, we must be going the right way, right? Wrong, and shut up. The fuck? Get to the rest, get to the rest, get to the rest! Oh, thank heavens. Good heavens. This is absolutely insane. Ugh. Good gravy. Ah, frick. Mm. Oh, thank heavens. Oh my gosh. Please tell me this is the right way. Either the technical cruxes are getting more forgiving or I'm getting better at them. <laughs> Alright, who did it? Oh. Good heavens. Sploosh. Okay. There's Royal Harding. There's Harakiri. And then there's Flying Nut Muncher, I think. Is it this route? This one just says Unknown Problem. Holy shitballs! Oh my god! Those are huge ass dinos! But that seems to be all the route consists of over there is huge ass dinos. Apparently the open projects and such do actually have names, but you have to actually look on the Solo Joe Climbing website to uh, figure out what they are. Or in the description of the video where I do the open projects, I actually do list them. But, you know. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this route. Okay. Harakiri is moving to the right, alright, so apparently Harakiri is this way, whereas a Royal Harding is this way. It's probably more like a Royal Herring. Oh, holy fuck hell. Oh, good lord. Uh, fuck. Holy shit. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let the confusion begin. Oh, damn. There goes my on site. Damn, why did I hit Z? Fuck. <sighs> My God. Okay. Damn. Oh Lord, this is the wrong way anyway. Damn. Uh, I actually can't remember where the hell I was supposed to be going. I think it was this way. Ooh, yay. Well, that doesn't do a whole lot at all, does it? Uh, that does something. Good heavens. Oh my gosh. It's like a maze. Oh, frick. Okay, there we go. Oh my lord. It's freaking nuts. Okay. Ugh, there we go. Yes! Did it. Woo! I guess we'll do Harakiri, and then we'll... Then we'll call this apart for the moment. I'm assuming those freaking dinos we can't really do. But then I don't really know either. All right, let's go this way then. Damn. These routes are really picky. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad at all, actually. Uh, neither was that, huh? Imagine that. All right, I think we onsighted that. Yeah, woo! Sploosh. It's weird to see the points move. Wow, almost 5,000 points. To Harakiri, on site. What is this route? It's not even in the guidebook. It's like the Flying Nut Muncher replaced it or something. <laughs> what the... Holy fuck balls. Is it like seriously kidding me right now? Someone. Oh, I guess this doesn't matter now, but. Someone expected to jump that far? Holy shit.
Wow. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll call that apart for the moment. We did like, what, 10, 11 routes? Yeah, it's five routes here, and we did all of Zone of Morta, so yeah, like 11 routes. Let's just take a look at the Flying Nut Muncher. We're not going to climb it yet, but I want to take a look. And we have whatever secret beta we need for it, so... There's a dino over there, but it looks like there might be another way over here. Uh, there's a dino over there, but it looks like there might be another way around it over there, I think. I don't, I don't really know. Good God, what is this route? Is it? <laughs> Oh my lord, it's a maze. It's an enormous maze. Oh good god. Wait, there's Solo Joe. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he wasn't the guru all along. Maybe the guru was just a guru, I guess. But what the frick? What is this? Is there more than one way to top this thing out? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> this route looks like it's uh, something else. <sighs> Damn. Okay, well... We're gonna turn the mental meter purple, just because... Purple. And, uh... Yeah, holy crap. <sighs> okay, I think that'll do it for this part. Save and quit. 92% done. Whew. Wow. So, that's part 29. And we saw Solo Joe. He's up there. And not up there as in heaven as in, but he's up there on top of the flying nut muncher. How long has he been standing there, anyway? I... Ow. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, so... Dang. That's... Whew, that's quite something. So, next part, I guess we'll work on some other routes on Psycho Block. And... Yeah. But, until next time, Tanara Kurinov signing off, and until next time, happy climbing!